I'm joined by Mark Perlman. He's our pol political editor and the co-anchor of yesterday's election night. Uh, Mark, it's nice to have you with us. Part of the uh, Together Block's downfall comes from the significant, made by, significant gains excuse me, made by the left-wing Noobs Coalition. They're now the main opposition force, but it's a little less than they were hoping for. Well, they were hoping uh, for uh, the prime ministership. Jean-Luc Mélenchon, immediately after he lost the presidential election, surprised everyone by going on national television and saying, elect me prime minister, which meant uh, give me a majority in the legislative elections. And he managed something uh, that is unprecedented. He managed uh, to form this alliance on the left, dominated by his friends' unbowed uh, movement, uh, with the Socialist Party, uh, his arch enemy, with the Greens, and with his rival, uh, the Communists. And so this unusual alliance pulled fairly uh, well, and uh, there were hopes that if they didn't get uh, the 289 majority, they could maybe reach 200 seats. Uh, clearly, this didn't happen. Uh, yesterday, uh, they're around 130 uh, seats uh, in total. This makes them the main opposition uh, coalition uh, in parliament. Uh, uh, Jean-Luc Mélenchon's uh, MPs were only 17 in the outgoing uh, legislature. So obviously, they'll have more of a voice, more of a say, because they can use some of uh, the tools we just saw in uh, that report. Uh, and they clearly want to be a voice Vocal and to be a frontal opposition to Emmanuel Macron. They've already said that there's very little they can agree on with the uh, uh, current program. And they're saying, yes, if Emmanuel Macron says the retirement age is at 60, if he raises uh, the minimal wage to uh, 1,500 euros, obviously we would agree. Uh, but obviously they seriously doubt that this will happen. So yes, they will have a strong voice in the National Assembly, maybe not as strong as they were hoping for. Yeah, speaking of opposition forces, another main headline, another main takeaway from last night's elections, the spectacular win by the far right, the national rally, going from just eight seats five years ago to 89 now. Absolutely. And they were surprised themselves. I mean, Marine Le Pen never hoped uh, for uh, such an outcome. Uh, and she was even accused by some members of the party of uh, not being forceful enough, not being enthusiastic enough about this uh, campaign, a very low-key campaign compared uh, to the presidential uh, campaign where uh, she uh, did her best performance ever. Why is that? Because those legislative elections have been nightmares uh, for the National Front before the National Rally, as it's known uh, now. Uh, because the two-round system basically gave them very little chances. And uh, Marine Le Pen has been denouncing this electoral system uh, for years, if not decades, saying, you know, this is unfair. We cannot uh, have our voice in uh, parliament. And yes, there was a problem. You had someone uh, who five years ago already reached the second round of the presidential election, having six MPs, which is 1% of uh, the number of MPs, was a democratic problem, uh, yes. But uh, this time around, 89, uh, it's compared to the previous record dating uh, to 1986, it was 35 MPs. Uh, so first of all, she cannot use that argument anymore because she gets a strong representation. Uh, she can uh, put forth a motion of no confidence because you need 10% of the MPs uh, to do that. She has this. And uh, she's already said that she wants uh, to have one of the deputy speakers of the parliament uh, belonging to uh, her group. And she is also asking uh, for the head of the finance committee, claiming that the national rally is the number one opposition group. She says that the left is a coalition. And uh, if you break down the numbers, it's true that no single party gets more than uh, the 89 seats that the national rally has. So uh, yes, it's going to be a very, very different national assembly with a strong voice uh, on the left, on the far left, and an unprecedented voice on the far right and sandwich in between Emmanuel Macron has to find a coalition uh, with some MPs without affiliation and maybe with the MPs from the Conservative Party. Yeah, a difficult five years ahead for the president. Mark Perlman, our political editor, thank you very much for that.